previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Look at this, though, as we come up here. Wow. I don't know if that'll be the picture for the beginning of the game, but, but we are coming up to services now. Services are on our options coming up there. Look at this. That is so cool. Coming over the top of this bridge. To Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, if you remember last week, uh, last week, oh dear, last week uh, I'm taking a articulated lorry to <laughs> Master Ass or Master Ass, um, Master Ass, whatever it is, but I can't pronounce it. It's, probably, it's up here. Look, there its name is there. Look, it's, it's Sweden. Um, anyway, I'm taking <laughs> taking this lorry load of stuff. And I've made a bit of an error in judgment here. Everybody was shouting, and in the comments you were shouting as well, that um, I've run out of fuel. Not only have you run out of fuel, but but I'm, uh, I've got my trailer. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to decouple the trailer. I'm going to perform some really dodgy manoeuvres here. I think that's the only option realistically left for me is to perform really dodgy manoeuvres. I've got this articulated lorry which I've dumped there. I'm going to drive the wrong way down this road to get some diesel. Catching the curb as we go. Oh no! Don't drive up me! This is where it ends. Oh, I'm off the edge of the road! Oh god! Oh sugar! 8% damage as I mounted the curb and hit everything as I went past. Of course they're all driving at me now. It's, oh, what an idiot I am. Seriously, such an idiot. I can't even, I can't, you can't explain how much of an idiot I am. Oh god, I'm hitting everything. Don't hit one of these, because that could go boom. Right, let's get back on this main road. You just stay there, truck. Oh no. Oh god, he's coming past whether I like it or not. Oh. <laughs> you kind of knew it was going to go this way. I've run out of diesel, basically. And this, this is the closest place to get some diesel, so... I'm going to get some diesel. And of course, now I'm going to have to squeeze past where I've made the muck up with my trailer. You see on the front of me there, right, those red lights. That's where I've mucked up with my trailer. So so, so next I've got to find a way to squeeze past those those guys to get back to my trailer. I wonder if I can go, I wonder if I can go that way, where the cars are. I might go where the cars are. Let's, let's try and go where the cars are. What an idiot I am. Oops. I hope this works. Nope, my trailer's over there. Uh. Cross. Can I. Do you think I can get across? I'm a little bit concerned about that. It looks a little bit indented a bit, really. Or maybe just turn up that way and go around the top where that car is. Oh god, you knew this was going to go... Do you know what? Welcome to Demon Transport. No curb goes undisturbed in our, in our, my line of work. Sugar, sugar. Oh god. And we still have... And what's worse, this journey still has ten, 10 hours on it, people. 10 hours on this journey. What else could go wrong? Right, swing us round. Let's have a little look at this. Right, so we'll do it anyway because we're here. So the middle there, we've got the horseshoe shaped thing. Bottom of there, we've got the pin. Got to hit the two things together, and because I've got the advanced coupling on, which was suggested by Mark Middleton, um, for for I think for his amusement more than than my own at the time. I'm totally missed that. No, totally missed that. I knew I had. Um, to, to, you've got to hit the two things together, otherwise you cannot um, couple the truck. Which is fair comment. So so let's see if we can get the two things together. Get the peg in the hole. The pin in the horseshoe. There we go. Slid on in. We're in. Let's press T to watch the legs go up. There we go, the legs. We're raising the legs and let's get out of this service station before somebody reports me to the police for my, my absolutely awful driving. Oh, God. 
so bad. That's just, I, that, I, 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 I can only apologise to everybody who's just watched that um, as a, an example of the worst possible driving you've ever seen in your entire life. And, and we still have... We still have 14 hours to go. I thought that was it was quicker than that. Why have we got 14 hours? I'm really worried now that we've got 14 hours. I'm coming out. What is going on the road in front of me? Come on! What are you doing? Oh, this is going. This is going so well. I think there's been an impact up ahead as well. I don't even want to get into this one. Yeah, there's an impact. There's a car there trying to reverse round. Two cars, truck, everything happening. 14 hours and 7 minutes. We are going to be late. We are going to be late. I was hoping we'd be able to do better than that. But maybe that... I, I don't know. Maybe there's some ferry journeys in it. I, I'm, I'm hoping there's some ferry journeys in it. It just... Honestly, I, I don't think I could have... I don't think I could have made this worse. I forgot what the button is for the headlights, actually, to be honest with you. I know it's not H for headlights, or is it? Can't remember. Oh, that was so bad. At least we've got diesel. <laughs> okay, so let's do the rundown of the uh, the the uh, the GPS. So bottom right hand corner, we've got the speed, which is 73 kilometers an hour. Automatic 11, A11 gears. Then we've got the truck, which is how much damage has got to the truck. There's now 8% extra damage because I mounted the curb and hit some concrete. Um, <laughs> then we've got the diesel, which is full to the brim, thankfully. Because I just went and did some dodgy manoeuvres where I damaged the truck and did 8% extra damage, as you know. Um, then we've got the bed, which is empty, which is which is barely, barely sort of, we, we, you know, we're not, uh, we're not, we're, we've not, we've not done anything with that. It's going blue at the moment. It'll go blue slowly, then it'll go red, and then I'll cry because we're going to have to crash. Um, then we've got the envelope, which is very... Very, very sadly underused. It's never, never really used. Only used in the those early episodes. If you go look at my American Truck Simulator, you can see it being used in the first three or four episodes. And then that's it. It's gone. You don't really use it after that, apart from for DLC. Then we've got the time, which is uh, 12 um, at the night, a witching hour. Yes, I could have had the uh, ha Halloween theme for this, but I've decided not to, because that's what I've given you as a little update recently, but I'm not doing the Halloween theme. Um, then we've got the time that we're going to get in, which is the little... Uh, which is the little red flag below which is uh, 1340 or 13 thought 30 1340 um, uh, 917 kilometers there's a police car to pull somebody over 13 hours and 30 minutes we are driving through the night we drive all night to get to you um, we're driving we're taking some packaging to to the probably the best named place in the world however I suspect I'm pronouncing it wrong um, Vasta as Vasta as uh, I love the fact that it's a Vasta as I'm going to assume that when we drive in there we drive in through some buttocks there's a great big pair of buttocks just two huge hillocks and a tunnel <laughs> I doubt it somehow you never know though it is Sweden they're, they're a very liberated spe um, um, culture so it could, could be it could, it could be very much that we never know so I'm doing 83 kilometers an hour, just trying to get a bit of extra speed up. I hope you've, uh, I hope you've had a good week. Have you had a good week? Have you been busy? You had anything exciting to happen? I've, I've not really. I'm, I, well, I haven't, haven't. I think I, I discussed, uh, uh, you know, uh, the the car that was on on front of me and that was almost on fire the other day that was I saw in the uh, as I was driving through uh, my home city. It was uh, smoke everywhere. I had my hazard lights on because it literally was so smoky that nobody could see past it. It was ridiculous. It really was. Oh, I hear the kettle going on. I think, I think, I think, I think Mrs. Demon's making some coffees. You're making coffees, Mrs. Demon. You're making two coffees? She's not listening to me. She's ignoring me. I've been a bad boy. I didn't do the dishes today. And I'm a naughty, naughty boy. I'll make her drive some more trucks for us. <laughs> I think she's made. I think she is making coffee for me as well. That's good news. Wow, we swerved off at the last second. Bad driving going on. Mainly me. I'd, I'd love a cup of coffee. I think she's talking to my son. He's getting a drink. He's been a good boy. 
I did have a cup of coffee just a moment ago, and it's, I've, I've guzzled it down. Let's look in the mirrors and pull across. Lovely. Trundling through the countryside. Keep left. I dared to fill up the car the other day. That was expensive. Horribly expensive, actually. I'll be honest. I was not. I was not. I was not best pleased with the cost of filling up my car. I didn't even fill it all the way, and it cost a fortune. I do have a, um, a 65 liter tank, though. It's a pretty big tank, so it can be a bit costly when it's when it's empty. I'm gonna come across. 90 kilometers. Oh. A little bit of roadside. What are you doing? He slowed down a lot for that. I think that's going to change back to 80 kilometers in a second, I promise you. There, we're going to go back to normal thing once we pass these, that sign that says back to this national speed limit. That's interesting. It's the same sign in Sweden. Is it Sweden? I don't think we're in Sweden yet. We might be in Denmark. Denmark. Cell plan. So dark. So dark. As we move through the night. We'll definitely have to get um uh, uh, that, 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 that definitely have to to, to get some shots when the day daytime wakes up. Sorry, well the wakes days up daytime breaks, dawn breaks, the world rotates. Oh, we have coffee. We have coffee. We've got a lovely beverage. Somebody, somebody made a comment the other day when I was talking on uh, uh, what's on the tape. I was having a little chat. I was talking about uh, the, the 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 YouTubers who who who've, uh, who've got sponsorship deals with uh, various man grooming products, and I I thought to myself, I thought to myself, I don't need man grooming products. What I need is somebody needs to come and sponsor me for drinking coffee. I'm not sure how that would pan out though. Would we have to like put me and pop up in the corner or something like that, drinking coffee or something? Every so often. Drinking a beverage. And how would we know whether or not I was drinking the right beverage or not? I could only tell you that I was drinking the right beverage. The right coffee for the right time. Love a cup of coffee. There's nothing wrong with a bit of coffee. Right, set 82 kilometres an hour. 81 set on the old GPS. 805 kilometres to go. I don't think we're going to make it within the time scale. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. We're going to really try, but... I think you get 12 hours of driving, and that's about the size of it. We'll see how dangerous this gets. This could get very dangerous. I've got a, an articulated lorry with two trailers attached to it. This could go bad. This could be very bad. 80 kilometres. I keep touching the edge of the curb, and it's driving me nuts. Go straight on. Touching the edge of the curb. It's driving me absolutely crazy that I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep doing it, either. Or dense. That's definitely Denmark we're in now. That was where I was going to stop previously. That was the that was the target for my my stopping, but uh, we didn't make it. Okay. Please don't pull out. Do please don't pull out. Stay that. Stay that. Good. We're going to make our way through. I think there's a I think there's a ferry journey in this. I'm hoping there's a little ferry journey. I do. I think there's. A, I think there's. I don't think it's all across the land. I think there's some ferry journeys in this. I definitely think there's a bit of boat action. I should really have a little stop and have a little think because sometimes taking the ferry is a good option to get a bit of sleep, at the same time as getting across to to where you want to go to. And we're slowly making it through. churning our way through the countryside. I was watching a, a, a video on uh, a chap driving through um, India on one of the most dangerous roads in a, in a gigantic coach. The guy was flying through these roads. I mean, beeping at people. It's all single track most of the way. And he's beeping at people to move them out the road. Every corner was like beeping just to make sure people weren't coming out. But he wasn't going slowly. That's a damn sure. It was going really fast. It's probably dangerous on the edge of it as well. Right. 11 hours and 16 minutes. Left to go. Game time-wise. 
I'm pretty convinced, though, that we definitely... Come on off the curb. Come on off the curb. Pretty convinced, though, there is a... There is a... There's a lighthouse of some sort. Or something similar. Maybe an old windmill. Whoa! That car to slam its brakes on as I came across. Entering this bridge. So pray... They, that just, they, this is my only concern, that instead of having a ferry journey, we've got a couple of bridges. Which is fine, I've got no problem with bridges. Bridges are fine, but, but if we've got bridges, it means we don't have ferries. And if we don't have ferries, we don't have that sort of rest period that we get, that rest bite that we can have from having a, a, a journey on a, on a, on a, on a, on a ferry. Because I don't think it adds to your time if you're technically taking a break so even if it's half an hour or whatever else it is i don't think it adds to the time that you're your 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 sort of uh, how exhausted you are 2:33 a.m. it's very dark out here it's very dark i'm not letting, i'm letting it, i'm letting it take gather a bit of speed here we're coming up to a toll gate i said that like it, i don't know what it is i do know what a toll gate is Definitely know what a toll gate is. Don't seventy. Can I take this one in front of me? I'm hoping so. Oh, it's way over the speed limit. Auto pass. Oh, no need to. No need to slow down particularly. Oh. Cool. I'm happy with an auto pass. Nobody run into me. I'm speeding a bit there. We can go back up to 80. I got a massive fine there. It's a good job I wasn't in Finland. In Finland, they actually take your entire um, uh, uh, your entire financial circumstances into effect, and uh, and and uh, can fine you huge sums of money, hundreds of thousands of pounds if you're if you're earning that kind of money. Scary, really. So in Finland, you've got to be very careful about what speed you're doing. Speeding is is a is definitely a, a bad thing. They take everything you own into account as part of that speeding ticket. And there we go. Locked in at uh, 81 kilometers an hour. Not the fastest I could possibly do. We've got 10 hours and 27 minutes to go. That's a long way. It's a long way. As I was saying, in, uh, I, 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 I did the uh, American Truck Simulator first. Sorry, peoples. I did that one first because I had a little model to show. If you've not seen it already, have a little look. There is a model to be seen in that one. Um, but but um, when I was uh, when I was doing when I was doing when we were out sort of uh, the other couple of days while I've been off, um, we did we did end up in a place which did diecast models, and they had did have some Euro trucks. But as I said, I said I rather like a bargain rather than than. than what I would call market value for things, so I always like look to look out for a bargain rather than that, uh, or something that isn't in a place that it's normally at. So, so, so I kind of, I kind of avoid them. There's a lot of any stop hard stuff, a lot of the older stuff, the Froden buses, or the uh, yeah, the Fro Froden buses, buses, Froden trucks. There was a lot of Froden trucks. Um, there was also a couple of DAFs that they had because I believe they did have some DAFs along the, along the way. And there was a there was a couple by uh, a couple of other non sort of not 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 ones that I knew branded but not not companies I knew that were there but uh, again very expensive instead of being you know a sort of uh, like I got that uh, one a while ago the the the, the truck for six pounds which was fully you know branded and whatever else it is it was these are like thirty pounds a piece and I was like yeah I'm not paying that much kind of money I don't mind looking at them and, and seeing them but I want to I want to feel like I've got a bargain out of it as well at the same time. Never buy, never buy a Star Wars figure that that, that isn't uh, that isn't on on discount most of the time. There's very few occasions that I'll buy it full price because they, they always end up on bargains. To be honest, so so I'd rather pay for a bargain version of it. So same with trucks, same applies to those. So um, didn't do that, didn't do that. Nine hours and fifty eight. This is a long journey. This one. I do feel like we're going with with without six hundred and fifty odd kilometers now, but. I do feel we're a bit, I'm a bit sort of stuck here with the with the timing on this. I've got six hours and 33, 30 minutes to drive, and I've got nine hours. I have to stop. I will have to stop on this journey again, unfortunately. That is not a good thing though, because that that unless there's unless there's a unless there's a some kind of ferry, I am gonna have to stop again. 
It's going to have to happen. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop again, which is which isn't the best of news. I'm going to push on as long as I can. I think that, that's only fair. But to finish this, even though it's an important delivery of uh, of of uh, of, of uh, you know paper, because paper's very important, um, it's it's still going to be uh, still going to be. Uh, Turning off the cruise control there, putting the cruise control back on. Ah! Speed and defence again! I can't believe I've done that twice in a row. Oh, I've missed the auto pass. That one's off. Damn. Yeah, I can't get through that. The all passes are over there. Why would you change the sides that they're on? That's really weird. So I'm now stuck waiting for this one. I almost closed off. Look, bar barricades on it. Water-filled ones, probably. Very clever, those. So they're very light to carry because they're plastic, and then you fill them with water when you get to the destination, and then they, they become extremely heavy. But, of course, the impact is fine. All right, I'm going to watch it. look in my mirror here for, for this position. Come on. Yeah, you pay. Now uh, we're in the middle. Enter. Come on. Damn. Can't believe that happened. Definitely going to have to stop again. I didn't really want to stop again, actually. I was really quite disappointed with that. Some really bad bit of behaviour at the beginning of the game, though. I hope I didn't cut anybody off there. On we go. The sun is starting to rise. Just over there, I think. Should be, because we kind of going east. I don't know what happened. We were, I, was, I was all about um, finishing off uh, France, and then I saw a place that was called Vastaras. And I, I, I had to go to the place that was called Vastaras. Train. Don't crash. We don't need any more damage. Don't need don't need any more speeding tickets either, so behave ourselves. Locked in at 86. There's the sun rising. It is coming up. Come on, let it drop down speed wise. I've just turned the cruise control off to try and deal with that. No retarder on this thing, clearly. I thought I had got a retarder. I thought I'd gone with the, the whole the whole hog on this. I suppose it's because the, the speed isn't actually speedy. Please don't hit me. Not hit me, thankfully. I'm pretty sure the car earlier hit me though. Concentrating hard on this one. Go straight on. Malmo. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I used to play uh, sensible soccer, and Malmo was one of my teams that I used to play as. Because you used to have a career mode in the sensible world of soccer. And there was a career world, and and and. I used to get promoted to some some other some weird and wonderful teams. I'd start with one and then move to something else, and and uh, Malmo was one of those ones that that uh, I would I ended up with. Bizarrely, oh god, looking at the side of the road, concentrating. We are flying through the countryside now. I'm absolutely hoofing it through. Have a fast moving truck. Very fast moving for something with two two trailers on the back. I'm rubbish with trailers though. Oh, have a look at the American Truck Simulator. You can see I'm rubbish with trailers. 
Absolutely awful with trailers. I should be better, but I'm not. I'm awful. In fact, no. That, I think that's a special case in the American Truck Simulator. You have to see. You have to see. It's a very oversized load, and I make a right pig's ear of it. Five hundred kilometers to go. The bed is filling beautifully. Eight hours and twenty, 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 twenty-four, five, twenty-three minutes. Twenty-three minutes left. Keep right, and then exit right. Keep right, exit right. All right, Doug. Thanks very much, mate. Exit right. He's a good guy. That's the question of um, voice actors, isn't it? The question now, how much did Doug get paid for it? Did he get paid enough? I would assume so. I'm zooming on. Barely looked there. Ah, behave yourself. Look at the sun coming up. It's dazzling. Get the visor down. Get the visor down. It's very bright, actually. It's shining across the road. So sort of highlighting the tarmac. Fantastic. Um, sort of. Um, there's attention to detail. What a difference it's made, though, over the last 10 years. I mean, obviously, this 10 years of uh, Euro Truck Simulator. I obviously haven't been playing it for 10 years. I've been playing it for. two or three? Something like that, two or three. I've been playing it for, so I'm not. I'm not on my ten-year mark. But what a difference they've made in the graphics. And they, the, the developers, when asked about this game, said that they want to get another ten years out of it. So by 2022, we'll still. There's a jet just flown over the top. 2022, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll. There's another one. Wow. 2022, we may still be playing Euro Truck Simulator, obviously with the. The alterations to the to the way it looks, uh, sort of, and graphically continuing throughout the time, which is what they've been doing. They've been re-editing it, and re-doing things. I mean, it's a, it's almost like it's a, it's a permanent job, isn't it? It's the it's the San Francisco Bridge thing. The the can, you know paint from one side to the other and start again. Basically, that's how long it takes. It takes some ten years or something, or twenty years. I don't know, something like that. A long time anyway. And then you basically work your way across the whole thing, and then you do it again. And that's that's. That's, uh, I think that's your truck simulator, really. You know, the, 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 the work that's been involved in it. Right, coffee. Mm. Oh, lovely. Bit of a beverage there going on. Oh, sugar, what did I do? I swerved across the road and smashed the car to pieces. That car's in pieces now, by the way. There'll be an ambulance there and everything. I can't even believe I did that. That's because I'm drinking coffee and try to drive straight at the same time. I don't know where we are now, but we are seven hours away. The bed is filling beautifully in a bad way. Oh, coffee's good. Right. Yeah, I just smashed the car up. I didn't even see it. We didn't even see the, 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 the interaction with the car there. There we go. Sun, sun through the side shades on through the trees. Beautiful. Oh, over the water. That probably ends up being one of the pictures of the the, the the of the sort of of the game. Police car. Man standing, policeman standing beside it. We'll try not to run him over. We'll do our best not to run him over. Four hundred and sixty-two kilo, sixty kilometers to go. Time is time is time is my is my enemy here. Even with that slightly faster speed, I don't think we're going to make it within the time scale that was required. I am running, I am fast running out of time. Speeding offence. Oh, sugar, where did the speed? 80. 18. Next rest stop, 3 hours and 53. Distance, I've still got 3 hours, I'm still 3 hours short. There's a police car behind me. I am speeding again. Oh no. Gotta speed up a bit. I'm just letting them go past. 
That's a wicked game, this one. You got, you've got to love it. It just, it's just a fantastic game. It really is. I, I, I still, I still find myself loving every second of it. You can't, you can't. It just, there's something great about just doing the job of delivering things to, to, to locations and just, 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 just getting there and doing, doing the necessary, you know, bits and pieces that go with it. It's so cool. Look at this. Another one of these signs. They've got lots of signs. Each area seems to have its own crest. I wonder if they had lots of kings and queens. And the other question is, am I in Sweden? I think I am. I think we crossed the border a while ago, but I didn't really realise. Please don't crush any more cars. It's amazing. Right over the top of the truck. Right to the back. Nice lake there. Look at that. Beautiful. Come on, get off the curb. Sirius must try to try and solve this. Uh, it, 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 I love the way that it does require slight adjustments all the time on the on the steering wheel. It's not none of the roads are actually really straight. There's no such thing as a really straight road in this game. It always requires slight adjustments to the whole thing. There's a, there's, a, there's a service station that looks pretty. That'd be a nice place to stay, wouldn't it? Just in the middle of nowhere. By the lake. Yeah, so always slight adjustments required. Never never, never quite straight. Put some mileage on this beast now, though. 4,408 kilometres. We really are piling, piling, piling them on. Do your trucks actually wear out? Has anybody got to the point where a truck's worn out? I mean, that's a, that's a question. Because uh, there'll be a point that they technically... I mean, you, you, yeah, you take them for services anyway. They get worn by that, by the by the damage anyway. Because they slowly get damaged over time anyway. And you have to get the tyres sorted and other things. But 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 do they, do, they, do they need, like, official services at official points? Just wondering. Or do the trucks become less valuable? So, like, my very first highway... That must have racked up a few miles now in this game. My old Stralius. The very first one must have racked up tons by now, especially as it's being used by by a a right. computer. Right. Oh. I gotta go right. Past the greenery. Right. Oh yeah, we're going off this one. Take it nice and wide. Looking in the mirrors. Keeping an eye on it. Keeping an eye on my load. Make sure it isn't uh, it isn't, it isn't getting dragged along the edge of a fence or something similar like I would normally do. Because I am stupid. Let's have a little look. Oh, some a action going on here. They've come to a halt. Oh, God, I nearly ended up in a halt, uh, having an accident there. Oops. Oh, God. I didn't even... I've hit the truck in front of me. Oops. Sorry about that. I thought he'd gone. I'll be honest. I thought he'd gone. Another 10% damage. Brilliantly done. This is the... Uh, this is the the, the... the joy of the traffic density being increased. There's a helicopter. Sweet. Hatman saw one of those the other day being taken by a, a, a ram, a Dodge Ram. I think that's the name of the, the make, the truck, or the pickup truck. Come on, please say you're, you're going. Yeah, you need to go. Are you pulling out? Come on, pull out. I'm, I'm giving you space. I'll be honest, I'm giving you space to get out after I smash it in the back of you. I'd have smashed that windscreen and that mirror would have been off, that's for sure. Oops. I'm gonna have to take this thing for a bit of a repair, you know. I think I think I think I've done a bit of I think I've done a bit of damage at this point. Five hours and twenty-three minutes. We are in a dangerous situation here, where we are close to our destination.
but our bed is very 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 blue at this point there's probably just a little bit top of the bedstead that hasn't gone blue so our fatigue level is high I like to think it's our travel time as well so our legal requirement um, and we are I don't know where we are in the sense of what whether or not we can we can off. sneak something else out of this Just getting a little bit more speed out of this. Centrum. Centrum. Hmm. Okay. I can't believe I hit that truck in front of me. Well, actually, I can because I'm stupid, but but I still can't believe I did it. Little houses. Really nice. There's like a concrete bit around that tree. Or is it just dirt? It's just a very bizarre flat bit. Weird. Like a bunker underneath it or something similar. Could do with a bunker, actually, in my garden. I know, I'm, I, you know, the, you know this, what's he called, isn't there? There's that, that Colin Fuse guy, and he's got a bunker in his garden. He built it. And now he has to, if he ever decides to, look at that. It's like Loch Ness Monster, but moved to, to, to Sweden. There's some more stuff over here. Look at this. What's that? That's like a scarecrow, but like proper scary scarecrow. It's like a wicker man, or is it something else? Is it a dragon? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a, like a scarecrow Cylon thing. It's really weird, that. There's some water of that. That's water, yes. That would be what would be in a lake, water. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I've forgotten now. It, was, it wasn't very important, I'm sure. Oh, the bed thing is gonna is gonna cripple me here. This is gonna be my this is gonna be my downfall. Is the bed? It's gonna be properly my downfall. That's a lovely view of my yellow truck. I love it. I have to have a little look. There must be a way of um, hand painting your own truck. You can imagine what that's gonna be like. My doodles on that. That'll be awful. There must be a way of doing it, though. There must be, like, a paint package that you can use to, to sort of do the, the textures. That could be scary, you know. I know that people can do modded things for it. I just don't, I don't think I've ever, I've ever done that. My own hand-painted drawing. Stick men on the edge of it, possibly. Nose. I can't remember what I was saying there before those 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 scarecrows scared me. Whatever they were, I was talking about something rubbish, wasn't I? I'm sure it was useful as well. I'm sure it was good. It was it was. I'm sure it was uh, it was it was worthy of a chat. Now the bed is completely blue. Do I stop now, or do I continue like an idiot? Let's continue like an idiot. I'm going to go a little further and see what I can get to. I think I think we're done though. That's us done. I think we we think. Very much, we we are we are done with the with the with the with with what we're doing. We'll finish this this episode though. That's for certain. This is things gonna we're gonna finish this, but we might have to stop for the night. I think this is this is the problem. We're gonna have to stop. There's a tractor on the back of that. I love seeing the mechanical stuff being transported. The bed's gone red. Okay, next stop, wherever that is. Is where we're stopping. I was, yeah, I was gonna. Uh, do you know what I was gonna do? I was just gonna stop and look at the map, wasn't I? That was what I was wanting to do. I think we're, I think we're stuck here. Though. I don't think there's any way to get across without going across. I might, do you know what? I might just pull up and have a look at the map. There we go. You see, I was good. I stopped and made and made room on the roadside. It's almost impossible to think that I would do that. But yes, I have. It's a very busy road. I'll have to get a bit of speed up before I go anywhere else. Right, M for map. Let's have a little look at the map. Because I, I kind of... There's a number of things here. One of which is I need to find a place to stay. Shortly. Um, we're almost there as well, which is even worse. I think I'm gonna to have to go to this Ling. What's it called? Now there's no there's no rivers to cross, so so we are we are 
We are stuck here. Where is the next available place to stop? There isn't. Damn. That looks like there's such an interesting road going that way. Where's this? If I went here... Checkpoint is 1 hour and 52. And then would it go... For some reason it would go that way. I would go that way. See, I would go that way. Like that. Then we can score off another tap. That'll, that'll score off one anyway, doesn't it? It's maybe not the best of routes. There's a petrol station here. How far's that? That's got... St ah! Ah! There we go. So there's one on the way... So the next petrol station is is the one. So we're definitely gonna we're gonna score off one anyway. We're gonna score off a town anyhow. So so let's go to this next petrol right, station. Okay. That's that's fine. Right, let's get in this truck and let's drive. Come on. Yes, thank you. See him move over. Very kindly moved over while I got back on the road motorway. That was very good of him, wasn't it? Could have been worse. It's a very friendly man. It's a very friendly Swedish fella, that's what it is. Very friendly Swedish people. I think my first exposure, of course, um, and, and probably inappropriately so to, to, to the Swedish, was, uh, of course, the, uh, the Swedish chef in uh, The Muppet Show. Um, and he didn't really speak English, did he? He just talked about Swedish meatballs and things, didn't he? And threw them into a pot. So he's a bit of a stereotype, I think. I don't know whether he... I don't know if he's a good stereotype for Sweden, but, uh, but certainly he was the first exposure to, to, to a Swedish character. Oh, and I suppose ABBA. They were Swedish, weren't they? Yeah, Abba, Abba, was, Abba was the Swedes. They were Swedish. Liked them. They were good. They were good. Oh, some planes. Cool. Is this where we're going to go past the Saab factory again? This is the, There was a Saab factory along here a while ago. I remember that. He's blooming brilliant. Look at those. Oh, it's so cool. I got an RAF signal on one of those. That was definitely RAF, wasn't it? The circles. For the old RAF. Watched something on that the other day. Apparently there was a pilot who flew underneath... Uh, or flew, flew through Tower Bridge in London. There's a protest for the lack of... Uh, su financial support for the RAF. So he proved that the, the RAF pilots were second to none um, in the, in the in their in their abilities by by quite literally flying through Tower Bridge. Gotta give him kudos for that. Oh, scrape in the trailer. I am. Look at this. Look at this. You idiot. Scrape in the trailer going through there. Again. Can't take me anywhere. Right, we're, we're almost we're almost at the next des destination now. We're almost at, we're almost at the place I need to be to, to get a rest. Because we definitely need a rest. Deadly this is. I'm not taking it wide enough. I think I've, I've, this is the curse of articulated lorries this week. Definitely the curse of them. Struggling with my, my own stupidity. Let's have a little look. That's a that's a farm down there. Got the old uh, the old mirrors looking left and right. That really adds to the to the to, to, to the way that game plays. A lot of fun. Suggestion from Bobster, who's not on holiday, even though I thought he was on holiday. I don't know where that came from, by the way. I have no idea. I, I, I I'm absolutely convinced in my head that he was on holiday. It's probably months ago. He's uh, he's probably he's probably oh, God. Oh, God. Speeding. As well. Probably months ago he said he was on holiday, and it's only just dawned on me now. Sorry, Bob. He didn't have a holiday. Apologise for that. <laughs> I hope you get a holiday soon. <laughs> no, just really strange. I don't know why that came through my head, but anyway. Yeah, his suggestion was to, to, to for the density of the traffic, the... Uh, oh, broken down, but the police are there to help. Um, density of the traffic, the, the looking left and right from my head. Get used to it after a while, still makes me stupid when it comes to driving. 
Vance coupling from Mark Middleton, the reduced uh, uh, sort of st- things that happen on the road by 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 Hatman, um, and a number of other things. Just so many things from such wonderful people. They keep me right. They keep me trucking. They do actually. They genuinely do. They keep me trucking. I actually like trucking. I'll be honest. I find it, I, I, although I'm stupid on it, I do find it quite therapeutic, and I quite like talking to myself, which is also a benefit. For hours and hours and hours, well, talking to you as well, but uh, talking, talking, talking to myself and talking to you. It is quite therapeutic. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. You can, you can lose yourself in, uh, in doing YouTube videos. Sort of lose yourself in the, in the time that you, you sort of, you, you know, that you, when you're, you're thinking or doing the, the bits and pieces that you're doing. It's, it's kind of cool. I'll be honest, it is. It's very cool. So nice going across the water. Yeah, you can properly lose yourself in it. In all the things you love. So, so you know, I've got, I've, I've, I've really, I've really sort of, I've really become quite a truck lover nowadays. Still not very good at spotting them, though. You'd think after all this time of pl- playing these games and looking at them, you'd think I'd be better at spotting them. But uh, no, I'm still quite, I'm still quite bad. And by spotting, I mean what what type of brand they are. I'm not very good with cars either, to be honest. But considering I spend so much time playing Euro Truck, you'd think I would, I would be slightly better at it by now. Avoiding sleep, yes or no? But we're about to, we're about to crash out for the night in here. Just for a second. We're going to have to because we're, we're absolutely... Oh, the rain's coming down. Uh, no, do you, oh, God. Have I made a mistake here? Oh, that's so close. Look how close that is. That's, 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 that's a foot away at least. Right, okay. I'm going to come in here. I don't know if I can get in here and sleep. It's only 2 hours and 20, though. It's even worse. That's the worst part about it. It's not even not even, not even, even a, a lot of time. I am just... Do you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to come in here and I'm going to decouple because I know for a fact that if I don't decouple, I won't be able to sleep. Look, watch. Now I can sleep. So I've decoupled and now I can sleep. It's so weird. I'm just going to sleep. I'm, I know I'm going to be late for the job anyway. I can't, I'm I'm accepting the the fact that the job the jobs the job's been uh, has been has been oh look at that right okay here we go T to put the trailer on and we're away. Indicators on. We'll, we're running late. I'm going to get into trouble for this one. I think I think we had an urgent delivery on this. I think I think we're so late now that we're in we're in we're in trouble. But hey, that it happens. We you know sometimes you have to sleep. It's rare for the, the for the for demon transport to to not attempt to die in its process of crashing into things. But uh, we, we we're definitely going to do it. 152 kilometers, not far to go at all now. The sun is setting. We we started when the sun was right. We started in the middle of the night. We've had a rest in between. We're making. We're going to get in there at ten twenty four. So this is going to be tight. This is going to be very tight. That's too tight. We're going to scrape the side of that cell plan thing. Okay. We're not going to scrape the side of that thing, cell plan thing, because it won't let me. I'm going to have to come a little bit further over this way. It's not going to let me. I was putting V for vo- for, 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 for the drive on there. This is a stupid place to turn. That sign is going to get it. Yep, you did. That's the only way to get past. Is to, to crash through signs. 
and there's the photo for the uh, beginning of the, the, the of, of, for the cover of this. Me smashing signs down as usual. Those are bound to get it. There was no way. It, there was. There was. Oh, I say, there's no way. I think if they'd gone a lot wider, came back across, I'd probably been all right and straightened up. But of course, being me, I decided not to. I decided that bending signs was a was not only a, a my responsibility, but the a legal requirement for 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 this level. That guy was flying down there. Let's go. So two hours and eight minutes, 140 kilometers. We're almost at our destination. It was a requirement that I smashed into something. You can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe I do it. It's so stupid. I really can't. Oh. Welcome to Demon Transport. We hit every curb. We bend every sign. We smash every truck. That's us. And quite honestly, my fleet would have dense gal galore, wouldn't it, if I was actually driving. There wouldn't be a single truck without a dent in it. I had to, like, safety bars around the whole thing just to make sure that I didn't damage them all. One hour and 56 minutes game time remaining. Not long. We're almost at our destination. 126 kilometres. Let's hope it's not a complex parking spot because I just don't think I'm capable of a complex parking spot anymore. You know, coming over the top of here. Decent speed. Get extra three three kilometers an hour. Trundling down. Sun's now setting behind us. Had to sleep through the main part of the day. It's perfect timing, really. Get a good sleep next time round on an early start. Nearly a hundred kilometres left. Literally counting it down. Beautiful truck. Go straight on. I started with an Avico. That was the first truck I actually bought in the whole game. And I, I, I have to admit, I did enjoy that. I, I'm enjoying the, my approach with the American Truck Simulator as well. Because that's it's been nice on that one to, to start early with that extra truck driver. And, and work with that, with that loan. It means I, I feel almost with that that I can get to the point where I can buy another truck very early on. And then because I can buy a truck very early on, we can definitely get the uh, we can definitely get the, uh, the you know the, the an another driver in there. That'll be that'll be two drivers, and then we start generating the cash a lot faster than I generated in uh, this version of it. Certainly got enough money in the bank for uh, for to pay off the loan as it goes per per, per month. Or per, per, is it per day? Per, per week? Per day, I think it is. There's, a, there's an amount per day. Definitely generating enough cash for that. So we just need to get another another driver, which you you have to do by uh, visiting the driver's place until you get to, to, I think it's five drivers before you can do it online, which is a bit of a shame. But getting there. Getting there. Very much getting there. Quite nice. It's quite nice to, to to do it to do it that approach instead of the way that I previously done it. So so I certainly did, I did it with this. I mean, I must have been twenty episodes in before I even got to that point with uh, with 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 Euro Truck Simulator, and that again was recommended to me by somebody else. Somebody else told me in the comments that I should hire drivers because that way you'll create more money, and they were right. I was there busy trying to generate one hundred and twenty thousand euros to to buy another truck, and one hundred and eighty thousand one hundred and eighty thousand euros to get the uh, the garage expanded. When realistically. There was plenty of work to be done, so 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 there's plenty of money to be made from the from 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 from, from a driver and another truck. Can't really go wrong. Thought for a minute there we we're coming off, but we're not. Sixty kilometres. Nearly sixty minutes left. Get back up to eighty kilometres an hour. Almost to our destination. We're gonna pass through another one of the towns shortly as well. Some bonus, bonus, bonus town collection. Stockholm. Upskella? We're not, not quite seeing a sign for Vastaras. Vastaras. I just like saying it. It's good, good words. Good words. Good. It's good. J 
gently does it. Thunder through the countryside slowly. 35 kilometres. Pad vibrating every time I kick touch the, the edge of the road. There's a... Everybody easing off. Including the police car to my left. Which is really annoying. Very annoying indeed. I can hear in the garden. I can hear the uh, my Yorkshire Terrier barking. Somebody's going to go get her in a second. Go get her in a second. Oh, I'm hoping somebody's going to go get her in a second. Oh, he's our destination. Coming up now. Did I not score off that other town? Did anybody see that ping up? I didn't see a ping up. Well, I feel I feel a bit a bit feel a bit aggrieved with that one. It didn't ping up, did it? I think we drove through it, but not through it. Right, and then turn right. Indicator on. Turn oh, right. expects us to make the journey the, the delivery soon. I'm not late yet. Much to my surprise, I'm going to go on the grass a bit here, though. Yep, to make sure I'm through. I am through. Almost there. Wow. Keep left. Then turn left. Keep left. Try not to, try not to speed. I bet they turn. Turn left. Oh. I was hoping that I could get away with that, but I didn't. That's a tower and a half, isn't it? I wonder what it says on it. It says something. Or is it reflecting another building? I know, it's got something cut into it. Huh. Not going to the food place that's beside us, but we're definitely going somewhere here. Oh, they let me go. Thank you. That was kind of you. He didn't have to. See if I can remember, though, to do the smart thing, which is to turn on my, uh, my uh, hazard lights when I'm reversing and parking. All the time, you should have those reversing, those, those, those hazard lights on. Get ready to turn left. And get ready to turn left. Turn left. That must be it there. Yep, there it is. Fine. Oh, where does it? Where do they want it, though? This is going to be interesting. I'm going to assume right in front of me, actually, because it won't be because it's a long load. It'll it'll be just a park straight. Yeah, it's right in front of me. That I can do. Extra bonus points. And straight. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, because I'm on the wrong blowing bit. Keep going until you're straight. There we go. In the mirror at the top there. Perfect. Let's zoom out and let's have a look at it detaching. D. There we go. It's all detached. Did all right, actually. I was quite surprised by that. I thought I was going to be late. But it wasn't. Took a bit extra time, but we weren't late. I got away with that. I don't know how I got away with that. I don't even don't even remember the timing on it. But we did it. Got a bit of extra experience for, for manoeuvring. It's not really worth doing that nowadays. Look at it. It's only twenty points, but but I like the I like the fun of parking. It's cool. Right, let's have a look at the world map and let's find ourselves somewhere to sleep for the night and then we can have a little look. I can't believe we didn't get that. We had to drive through it, didn't we? That's really off. Right, let's find somewhere to stay. That looks like the place. Let's head there, one kilometer away, and let's get ourselves let's get ourselves nicely rested for the for the for the for the for the day ahead. We can explore that big big tower over there, wherever it is. There, yeah, that one. We can find out what that is while we while we spend a night here. Let's get out of here. Lovely, 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 lovely. Turn 
turn left. I will do. Turn left. Cool. Turn left, and we're going left. Let's see where we're at. There's American Truck Simulator advert. Where's the place to stay? Does that say Hotel Lair? That's a Hotel Lair. Turn right. Ha! <laughs> that looks a nice hotel, that, actually. Those are, those are turning in there. Is that like a public information thing as well? It says, wash your hands. So stop now. Have a look at this. That doesn't look like a bad place to stay for the night, does it? Could 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 be worse. Could be worse. What's it to see? Oh, there's a nice industrial park. Some more industrial parks. There's not even a shop nearby. It's just, just, just the hotel. Which doesn't look awful. It's like right under a bridge, though. But, you know. Anyway, let's press the button to rest. Let's get some rest. Perfect. Raining the next day. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genentium, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.